Hey guys, we're back. It's two days later. It rained yesterday. And we're getting ready to put some resin on our shelves. Very first thing you do is check to make sure it's level. Because if it's not, the resin's going to run off of it. You don't want that. But check both ways. Wow, that's really off. Okay. Now I misted the air, get all the dust out of the air. I've got my propane torch ready. I've got something to cover it up ready. You need some kind of little tweezers to get any junk out that might fall in. And always wear a respirator. This stuff can hurt you. So I'm going to get it mixed up and we're going to resin. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Angie again. We're back the next day. Our shelves are dry. Look at that. That K&S resin. Isn't that pretty? So we'll get them ready. And we gotta take, let me show you. Take our little knobbies off the back. Which is, there's not many because I kept scraping it. So there wouldn't be so many. And I'll take you down and show you how I do that. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my heat gun. It's a cobalt, so it gets really, really hot. So you just be careful when you do this. It's got this little attachment that helps get all the knobs. Let it heat up just for a sec. And you can just go right down through there. And just pop right off. See? I'll take the wood and everything off. I'm trying to go away from the edge and I don't want to mess up my edges. Take them off the towel because I don't want to get up under it and scratch the surface. And you just use an old towel to keep your, the top of your surface good. And you want to scratch it on the pieces. It's nice. See, I didn't let too many grips get on here, so it's not real bad. I'll get through with this and I'll take them out and sand them. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna spray paint the bottoms. And they'll be ready to be put together. Then we'll go inside and we'll put them together. So we'll be back. Okay, I'm back in the house. I've got the back painted. And I taped the sides. So what I'm gonna do is take that off. See a little sticky. It's 50 some degrees outside so it don't dry like I want it to today. You can pull all your tape off. Take you some alcohol. I use 91%. 
and get all your paint that went through the tape, which wasn't much. Let me get that off for it cures. It comes off pretty easy off the resin. Just clean it up real good. Give it a more professional look. Big red when it's at least 70 degrees outside all the time. Wow, that's a little stickier than what I thought. All right, we're gonna let these sit for a while until they're not sticky anymore. Because the next step, we're going to drill some holes in it for the ropes. But they come out really nice. And when I do resin like this, I always make sure I have a couple extra smaller pieces. Just in case I have a little bit of resin left over. Whether it's earrings, coasters, something. So I did... A set of coasters with my leftover resin. And I'll show those to you. Come out really pretty. And I'm going to finish these up tonight as well. Okay, I'm going to let these shelves sit for just a little bit and then we're going to drill the holes. Okay? Hey guys, we're back. I've already marked my edges where I'm going to put the holes. Um, I did, I'm going to drill a 3 8 inch hole because my rope is a uh, quarter inch and I'm about three quarters from the back end and all the way around. So let's drill these holes. in the house and get them finished okay we're back in the house I'm putting the cord on and I don't know what I was thinking I only painted four balls to match when I actually needed eight I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> but anyway we'll get this one done I cut 60 inches for each side of rope, quarter inch. I got this from a company called Ravenox. Really nice soft cotton rope. They have all different colors. It's kind of a pain in the butt to thread it through because it's coming unraveled. But you find your center. And I'm putting it on one of these rings. And you go under 
and pull it through. Make a little slip knot. Kind of like you start macrame. I got that backwards. Let's try that again. Go over, go over it, then pull it through. Make you a little slip knot. Then you get your four sides threaded. Thread your ball and then you're down through the hole and tie a knot. And then you want to hang it up to get it level. And it takes a little bit of time because of having to thread them. I wish they didn't come unraveled like they do, but they do. I get a little tool and help me push it through. And the hole's plenty big. I drilled it at three eighths and the rope is quarter inch, so I've got plenty of room. on the back side make you a knot and then when I get it level and everything I'll frizz it frizz out what's hanging down make it look good okay I'm going to finish this up and then we're going to go hang it and I'll show them to you. I might have to paint four more balls tonight. See how I painted them and then I sprayed them with some clear coat, a couple of coats. Made them nice, but they match pretty good. And this is going to be really cute. Really cute shelf. So I'm going to get these finished up and I'll bring you back and show you to them. Show you to them. Show you hanging them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you them hanging on the wall. Okay? See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. Here's the finished product. I don't have room to hang them both in the shop because I've got paintings everywhere. So I'm going to take you outside, hang them both up, and show you what they look like. Isn't that cool? Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, here's the finished look. I'll stuck them on the back of my building where you can see them. In the sun. Really cute. Something different. Really sturdy. And there they are. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Y'all have a great day. Later, Gators.